guys ryan raymond and tonight i'm going to show you guys how to write uh your product listings with the new multi-product uploader uh because on tuesday september 3rd of 2019 the single product uploader will no longer be available and there's going to be some changes to the way people have historically been writing their listings and going through that i think is going to be important for some people and quite a few of you guys asked me for it so here's that video and if you're new here, my name's Ryan, and I make videos about Merch by Amazon and Print On Demand, uh, giving tips, tutorials, and just kind of documenting my process on where I'm at and what I'm doing with it. So why don't we just kind of jump right in here? Give me one second. Let me fix this chat window on the other display. There we go. All right, so I always like kind of jumping into my uh, Merch dashboard here. This is the Pretty Merch Chrome extension. Uh, you can get it at uh, ryanaraymond.com slash pretty and uh, if you want to use uh, Pretty Merch Pro. Um, anyway, we're going to jump in and we're going to create a product with the multi-product uploader. I am using uh, Merch Wizard as well as a Chrome extension that will uh, help me with my upload process. It's not a requirement. It's not something you need. It just helps me with a few things and I'll kind of show you guys the difference on them all. So I just need to select a couple of pictures here off my phone that I made for some t-shirts. I'm just going to airdrop them over to the computer. And it's going over there. Okay, cool. So what I did tonight was I made some monster face shirts that um, I'm, I was thinking would be good for Halloween. So we'll just start with this first one. And we'll look at a couple of different things you guys can do with this and uh, some of the issues that are gonna come up with the multi-product uploader. So as you can see here, I, all I did was drag and dropped that t-shirt on here and it uploaded it onto all of the uh, normal products. So the first thing you're gonna need to do when you get in the multi-product uploader is click select products. Um, I have this here where it makes it easy to select all and none, that's part of the uh, Merch Wizard Chrome extension, but you can um, do it either way, there's no no issues one way or another. I'm gonna select all products because this makes it a uh, list on all products. So right now we have standard, premium, v-neck, tank top, long sleeves, raglan, sweatshirts, pullovers, zip hoodies, and pop sockets. I'm gonna list this on all these products. I'm gonna click continue. Now that we have the shirt uploaded on all of the designs, or the design uploaded on all the products, I'm sorry. We, we want to select the colors. So this monster face here, this guy's got, you know, horns, bloodshot eyes, and his mouth is uh, zip tied or uh, sewed shut here. Um, I like using, I don't like using black when I'm doing these types of designs. I'm going to use some orange, some pink, some purple, red, blue, cranberry, green, grass, yellow, and we're full. Okay, so I like using 10 colors. I've been having some luck with testing that. Um, Amazon gave it to us. I'm willing to keep using it for a while. They used to say only put um, like three colors on it. So it's kind of interesting that they did give us 10, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, this pro design is gonna be really good on youth. So it's mostly intended for youth. And what you normally have to do in the multi-product uploader is now you come to the next product and you select your sizes and go back through and select all of your colors. So we're gonna grab all these same colors that we just did. And did I miss one? What else do we want? There we go, okay. Um, what I could have done is click copy colors because I'm using Merch Wizard and you can get Merch Wizard at ryanaraymond.com slash wizard and the link's in the description for that as well, guys, if you wanna check that out. Um, but you, like I said, you don't need it when you're going through the multi-product uploader. I just find it helps improve my process significantly. All right, so we selected all the colors on the standard. And the same thing goes through. You just pick all the relevant colors. Definitely going on baby blue, not black. Um, we could try this on dark heather, forest green. I'm not going to list it on navy. I think it washes out the design way too much. Pink, purple, red and sapphire all right on the tank tops and you don't have to pick them all but look for where the design's going to look good and be the most presentable for the customer that's going to look for it if it if it doesn't look good on it don't offer it i'm not going to put it on white i just never sell white and i don't even like offering it as an option 
Okay, so I'm not putting it on black, but I am going to do dark heather, heather gray, and the royal blue right there. Um, on the raglans, I'm going to select all colors. And then, once again, for the sweatshirt. Now, the hoodie. What you would normally do is now have your resized image for the uh, proper size for your hoodie and upload it to this spot. But I didn't make it myself yet so what i am going to do is i'm going to use merch wizard here and resize it so i click my activate resizer option here i just kind of zoom this in a little bit center it in the hoodie and click download png and it made me a perfectly sized copy of my image cropped um, the way i wanted it for the hoodie i'm also going to do it for the pop socket and I want the background color. I, let's do this on a suit on a blue. Let's find a nice blue there. And I just click save and resize it down to fit in the center of the pop socket. I click download PNG. And right there. And upload it. So there we go. There's the monster face, and we have to select our colors still for the hoodies. There it went. Okay. And then the zip hoodie as well. Make sure we pick all of the colors we want. I'm going to put it on dark heather, forest green, purple, red, and blue. Okay. So now we're to writing the listing. So some changes from previously, a lot of people habitually would write. Um, I'm going to transition here just so you guys understand. You used to, a lot of people would put t-shirt, shirt, graphic tee, and all of those things in the title and description. Amazon is saying not to do that anymore, guys. I'm going to show you what it does, and it gives you a warning when you start putting in some of these words. Um, in the first one here, I'm going to just make up a brand name, Monster Face Designs for Everyone. I could do Halloween, something like that, but... Um, I've already sold some in this niche, so I'm re-entering the sales at this time of year, especially heading into Halloween. So I've already done a bunch of keyword videos. If you guys want those, check some of them out in on my channel. I've got quite a few keyword videos and research videos. So I'm not going to go through that process here. Okay, um, design title. This guy is a bloodshot eyes scary monster. So we're going to do a scary monster face um horned graphic uh, i don't know if horned what do we want here scary monster face eyes and mouth with horns I'm, I'm putting all those in there and then i'm going to add halloween design in there okay so i'm targeting halloween kind of as a later keyword actually since we're coming up on halloween i'm going to move it to the front um monster face does have some search results uh and demand in amazon i've noticed so i'm gonna move halloween and try it up at the front here so halloween scary monster face eyes and mouth with horns all right this scary funny looking monster face face graphic now the reason I didn't put t-shirt here, so look at this message right here. Product names will be appended to this design title. E example, funny cat will be displayed as funny cat t-shirt. So they don't want us to put the product in here. So if I were to start writing t-shirt out of habit, it now puts up this warning. It is strongly recommended to remove any reference to product types. Since the description is going on all the products, you don't want to put in their t-shirt, sweatshirt, any of that. Amazon knows it's a t-shirt. Amazon knows it's a hoodie. Amazon knows it's a, a tank top. They know it's a v-neck. They know it's a pop socket. What they don't know is what the design is, who it is for, and why they should buy it. So let's give them that information. All right, this scary, funny looking monster face graphic is perfect for kids toddlers and teens who love goofy strange um we could say outfits because right now everything kind of matches in there but i'm gonna try and not do outfit right now um 
kind of mixed. I, I got the pop socket on there, and if they add other products later, having outfit won't make sense later either. So I'm thinking about as they expand products beyond t-shirts and whatnot, that there's going to be chances there's going to be more stuff and eliminating any of that description. Um, things especially for trick or treating this Halloween. Um, perfect gift. And I leave it at that. I don't say present, anything like that. I just like getting that keyword gift in there for people who um, enjoy strange I don't know how that happened. I spelled it, put it in there twice. Oh, I keep getting my dictation going here and that's the issue. So let me finish typing here. Let me turn off dictation. I don't know why it keeps going. Okay. <laughs> oh. My mic is recording and it keeps dictating. Things and want to wear trick-or-treating shirts for Halloween when they go out with their kids. There we go. Okay, I think I got that all out of there and my dictation keeps going in there, so I apologize. So I used my dictation to put the rest of that title in there. Now, what I normally do is click our brand name to see more products. Oh. struggling here tonight guys that's the problem with doing lives every now and then here it won't erase it okay well i am having an issue here my computer is not letting me erase that window because my dictation keeps taking over i'm not sure why i do apologize guys um but in the end here, what I do is then take this description, convert it to German for my German listings, and I copy and paste it back into the product description. Uh, important things to remember when you're using the multi-product uploader is to not describe the product, simply describe the design, and let Amazon know as many relevant terms and phrases that are gonna go well with that design. Um, I'm gonna hold, get it here, guys, tonight. Thank you, quick video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow uh, in about 12 hours. We got our t-shirt listings and reviews uh, at 12.30 on Saturday. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Thanks, have a good night.